What up, Dave? Welcome to Premier Lawns video. Today we're going to be talking about PRGs, plant growth regulators. I'm going to be putting some onto the lawn. I'm going to be talking about why I do it, the pros and the cons. Let's go. PRGs, or plant growth regulators, work by... There's a hormone in the grass called gibbleric acid, and it encourages the grass to grow upwards. Whenever we put on the PRGs, it inhibits that from growing, and it pushes the growth back down into the plant, that means it's going to thicken up the lawn. It's going to increase root mass. It does a lot of good things, but it also has some bad things. I'm going to cover some of those in a second. Because it slows the plant down, we're going to get a denser, richer lawn. It's going to be more disease res resistant. It's not going to grow as fast. They are all the bonuses. Now, one of the downsides to it, if you have areas of your lawn that are diseased or anything like that, then it's going to take longer for it to cover. I'm going to show you something now that is going to present a bit of a problem to me. So we had a, a couple of dogs staying at the house for a couple of weeks here and their dog pays burnt the lawn. So we'll just have a look at that. We'll go over, you can see these burnt patches on the lawn. That's from the, that's from the dog urine stain. So it might take a while longer for these to recover than what it usually would, just the way PRG works. So that'll be one of the downsides. If you have a lot of disease in your lawn or if you have areas that you need to recover, then PRGs definitely aren't for you. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to smash the like button. Subscribe for more videos like this. Now, let's get on with it. So there you can see with the grass cut, let's start in day getting the PRG on the lawn. So today we're going to be using a professional product. This isn't designed really for the end user in the UK. Now a lot of people in America and Canada and Australia and everything else have access to products like this in the UK. These are designed for professional use only. The fact that it's so expensive, if you look at the price of this up online, it's probably over 300 pounds for a jar, although a jar does go really far. Whenever we're putting on PRG, just a wee greenkeeper's tip, we'll use some of this stuff here, which is technical grade sulfate of ammonia. This is straight nitrogen, we'll mix some of this up. We'll put it into the tank. Whenever you're putting on a plant growth regulator, there's a chance that you can burn the grass, even if your lawn's been fed. So you might burn it or it might turn a bit yellow. Now, if you're using plant growth regulators, you're always best starting at a low dose and working your way up. So I'll be putting on a very low dose and seeing how it goes, probably once every four weeks. As an extra bonus, we have the test patch here. Now, anybody that follows the channel, this was a bit of ground that we killed off from a we tried to grow, we've seen the fastest way to grow grass seed, I'll link the video at the end of this. Now, as you can see, it hasn't been cut in a while. The last time it was cut, actually, we had the sheep in here. So there's a bit of sheep dung on it. That's why we have all the little green patches on it. But I'm going to get this cut, and then we'll be spraying this with the plant growth regulator as well. So that's this cut. Doesn't look too bad, as I say, we see that this out last September. Now, plant growth regulators, whenever you're using them on a lawn, they do need to go on on a dry day as the chemical is absorbed through the leaf. All right, guys, now this is not something I usually do. I'm going to hold my hands up this one. Last night, I was editing the video and I was going, it was really annoying me about the burnt patches in the lawn. The way plant growth regulator works, it'll stop the seeds from growing and it'll take ages and ages and ages for those burnt patches to grow back. So I was actually thinking to myself, it's a pity that we didn't have a bit of grass that we could 
take from somewhere else and put into this lawn. But guess what we do? We have the test patch around the corner. Now, the test patch, I sprayed one half with plant growth regulator and one half without. So we're gonna take it out of the bit that has the plant growth, plant growth regulator on it. So let's do that now. Have the test patch. This side here was covered with the plant growth regulator. So we're gonna take it out of that. If we took it out of that, then that would end up growing at a different rate. So we'll have these burnt patches here and then there's burnt patches on other parts of the lawn. So right in the middle of the lawn, which is pretty frustrating. Now guys, just before we go any further, just gonna talk about the dog urine stains. The easiest way to prevent getting dog urine stains on your lawn is to not have a dog. If you do have a dog, but I have a dog, I'm a dog lover. If you do have a dog and it happens to cause urine stains in the lawn, the best thing to do, the first time you take it to the toilet in the morning, because it's that's generally the one that's gonna cause you to burn, is to take it somewhere other than your lawn to go to the toilet. Now, I did a video a couple of years ago about how to repair and how to stop dog pee. I'm not gonna cover it too much in this video. I'm gonna to link to it at the in the video description so if you want to see that video before and after how to fix dog pee make sure to watch that video now let's go on we're repairing this lawn nice sod there nothing wrong with that not too much thatch there look at that but look we'll have some poo in it wouldn't you know So you can see all the spots I have on the lawn, all these different areas, they're all ones that I'm gonna to have to get fixed. I'm gonna show you a quick tip whenever you're filling in, if you're doing a repair like this yourself, around this edge here, there's always gonna be a bit of a gap. So this is just a little greenkeeper's tip. We're just gonna take a wee bit of soil there and put it in the edge, give it a good shake in. You'll see that line less and less as, as that starts to grow. Just, it's just a really easy, quick tip. You don't need very much there. That's gonna help that mat into this here a lot quicker. Just as I carry on doing this here, I want to talk a bit more about the plant growth regulator. One of the main reasons we do it, I don't know if it was that clear in the start of the video, it slows the grass plant down. It means that the grass isn't going to grow just as quick. And there's another real bonus to it. As you guys know, I've been getting suffering with a poana. It's hopefully going to reduce the seed heads. It's not going to stop the seed heads, but it's hopefully going to reduce them. Now let's get back to the work. We'll have all the patches fixed. Now let's get back to the normal video. Now I'm gonna say the bit at the, our test patch, we're only gonna spray half of that with the plant growth regulator. So then we can see, as the summer goes on, we can see a difference between the bit that's done and the bit that's not, not done. 